Mark's nice, he's funny, he's fun to be around, he just makes me happy when I'm sad. Mark and Braden are friends, but they may have never met if it wasn't for Rachel Angel and Jennifer Romage. What do you think we should look for next? The teachers founded and head up Best Buddies at Loveland Middle School. The focus is to create one close friend and a network of friends for those with intellectual and developmental disabilities. For some of my students, this is the first time that they've ever been invited into a club or been able to participate in an after school um, in an after school club. At just the start of its third year, the program has doubled in size to include more than 100 students. It's also been recognized as the best in state, something that students like Braden hope will spread the message. That's how you do it. I would like to see a lot of people, other people doing this program and treating Mark and people like him like a normal person because Mark's a lot of fun. He's loving, he's caring, and I mean, he's just awesome. I think that sometimes kids get very nervous about working with students with special needs and it's just because it's different. Take that chance and I think they will find that they get just as much out of being part of Best Buddies, if not more so, than our students who um, are in need of that friendship. Some of these friendships started in the Best Buddy program, continue here in the cafeteria and hopefully even last for a lifetime. Reporting from Loveland Middle School, Eric Zarnitz, WLWT News 5. Great story, right? So matches are made with location as one of the factors so buddies can get together even when school is out. They're also encouraged to stay in touch, communicating at least once a week and also meet outside of school for an activity once a month.